Hi again, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time. And again, it does not matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. So before we get into Major League Baseball picks for July the 25th, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section here, which will help make all your picks more successful. Okay, so we are more than halfway through the Major League Baseball season, and now every series starts to become more important for playoff implications. So we're going to take a look at some of the action for the 25th of July. The first game, the Atlanta Braves and the Philadelphia Phillies. Both teams are battling in the National League East, trying to catch the New York Mets. In the power rankings indicator, you can see that the Phillies have a plus 7 to plus 2 advantage, or plus 3 advantage, excuse me, but both teams are on a downward trend. As you see by the status here, the Braves have average status at the moment. They are 3-3 three and three over their last 6. And the Phillies are ice cold down at the moment, having lost their last 3 games. Toki Toussaint is scheduled to pitch for the Braves. He is 1-0 with a 1.35 ERA. Aaron Noah is scheduled to pitch for the Phillies. He is 4-6 with a, excuse me, he is 6-6 six six with a 4.64 ERA, but he has not been a very good bet at minus $27 on the pitcher profit oscillator. If you're considering the over and under bet for this game, let's take a look at the team, how the teams are trending. The Braves have been trending over the line for the past uh, about week or so, while the Phillies have been trending over the line since uh, July the 5th. So it's a very good indication to bet the over. And if you look at the scores predictor, you can see here uh, they give the Phillies a 6-5 to five edge, but only 30% confidence in prediction. So check back on this the closer it gets to game time. But I believe that this line might actually go up total score. So I would bet the Phillies to win at home and bet the over. Washington and Baltimore, New York and Boston. See, we have a full slate of games, but we're only going to take a look at five of them today. Padres and Marlins. Cardinals and the Reds. Next one we want to look at right here is Tampa Bay and Cleveland. The AL East meets the AL Central in this contest. You see that neither team has uh, named their starting pitcher as of yet. The Rays right now are burning hot. They have won their last three games and four out of their last six. The Indians are averaged down coming off a loss, and they have lost three out of their last four. The power rankings indicator shows that Tampa Bay is up here at plus 25 on upward trend, and Cleveland is at plus 17. If you're considering the over and under in this game, you can see that Tampa is trending in games slightly over the line, as is Cleveland. That's a good indication to bet the over, but let's see what the scores predictor shows us. Our scores predictor right now has Tampa Bay with a 7-1 to advantage on the road, with a fairly good confidence in prediction of 68.4%. But with this total score of 8, that is indicating to bet the under. Again, check as it gets closer to game time as far as what the total score is going to be, but I feel very confident picking the Rays to come away with a road win. Toronto and New York Mets. The Mets look to maintain their lead in the National League East as they host the Blue Jays in the final game of a series. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that neither team is in a positive trend at the moment. Toronto is slightly up from the other day at plus 11, but the Mets are on a free fall. They are at plus 2. You can see uh, the Mets have won 3 out of their last 4 games and 3 out of their last 6, while the Blue Jays have lost their last 2, and they are 4-2 over the last 6. Russ Stripling is scheduled to pitch for Toronto. He is 3-6. With the 504 ERA, and you see minus $308 on the pitcher profit oscillator, so not a very good bet lately. And the Mets have not yet named their starting pitcher. If you're considering the over and under with this contest, you can see that Toronto is playing in games, trending slightly under the line. The Mets slightly over the line, so again, this is kind of a hard pick as far as the over under goes. Maybe the scores predictor can give us a little bit better idea what to do with that. And right now, with the Mets with a 7-6 edge on the scores predictor with a little bit more than 50% confidence, it looks like it's we're trending for over the line with our scores prediction. Again, check back to see if this confidence in prediction has increased and see what the total run scores will be. But I believe that place your betting on the over is a wise choice and for the Mets to come away with a home win. 
scroll down through here. We have a couple more games to look at. Here we go. Here's a battle in Texas in the AL West. The Rangers and the Astros. You see the two teams are heading in completely opposite directions. The Rangers have dead status at the moment. They have lost their last six. Houston is averaged down at the moment. They are 2-1 and one over the last three and 3-3 three and three over their last six. The power rings indicator uh, shows pretty much the same thing. Houston with a huge advantage here at plus 26. Tech Texas plus 1. The starting pitchers have not yet been named for this game. But you see here, as far as the outcome, we have here Houston in the scores prediction. 10 to nothing over Texas with nearly 83% confidence. So it's a pretty good indication to clearly bet for Houston. But are we going to go for the over or under? Let's look at the totals predictor and see what we have. You see Texas has been playing in games trending over the line for the past two, two and a half weeks or so. And Houston has been playing in games trending under the line. So it's an interesting uh, comparison over and under. Which way do you go? Well, right now with the scores predictor of 10 to 0, that's probably going to be an under. Take a look back as it gets closer to game time as far as the uh, scores prediction, as far as the total score. But it's a very easy bet for Houston to come away with the win at home. The Diamondbacks and the Cubs, the Pirates and the Giants, Rockies and Dodgers see a full slate of games. The last game we want to look at is the White Sox and the Brewers as these two Midwest teams battle. AL Central versus NL Central. If you look at the power rank indicator, the White Sox have a plus 23 to plus 15 advantage. You see just the uh, a few days ago, the, the trend was completely reversed, right? It was Milwaukee way ahead of the White Sox, but it's amazing how things can change over just a few days. And you can see um, the White Sox are, there we go, 4-2 and two over the last six. They are coming off a loss. Milwaukee has lost their last two and are 3-3 three and three over the last six. Both teams have named their starters, Lance Lynn for the White Sox and Brandon Woodruff for the Brewers. Lynn is... 9-3 with a 1.94 ERA, but surprisingly a poor bet at minus $221. Woodruff, on the other hand, is 7-4, the 204 ERA, and has been an excellent bet at plus $429. I would expect a lower scoring game with these two pitchers on the mound, and the scores prediction is showing pretty much the same thing, with the White Sox with a 6-1 advantage, but the confidence in prediction is only 39% at the moment. Look at the totals predictor. The trend has been over for quite some time for the White Sox and pretty far under for Milwaukee. I think this will be under because I believe that the two starting pitchers will hold you know, each offense down pretty well. But I do believe that the White Sox have the better team at the moment. They have the better pitcher on the mound for them to come away with a road win. So there you have it. Those are all the games that we have in store for you for July the 25th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.